Hey guys, what's up? This is Nikhil from Dope Motions and welcome to this brand new tutorial. Today, we're going to take a look at creating some cool patterns into After Effects using shape layers and repeaters. And it's going to be pretty fun, you know. You can make these patterns pretty easily and pretty quick, you know. And you can, you know, instead of using this plain background for your motion graphics project, you can create this type of patterns and you know make your work look pretty good and you know highlight your work and you can also do you know pretty crazy stuff with this like this you know like this we're gonna be creating all of this today so let's just get started with the first pattern right over there so here I am in a new comp 1920 1080 straight up so first of all I'm gonna right click go to new shape layers then I'm gonna double click on this rectangle make sure the rectangle tool is selected and just double click on it there we go now we don't need the fill so i'm gonna you know unfill it and make the stroke to let's say three then i'm gonna go to rectangle one and rectangle path one and then uncheck this constraint properties and i'm gonna set this from 920 to let's say three pixels there we go we should get this pretty straight line i'm just gonna make this maybe two pixels should look good yep just close this up actually then I'm gonna go to transform rectangle one not the transform the transform rectangle one then I'm gonna skew this to let's say mm, 35 should look good yep there we go and then I'm gonna add go to add repeater there we have it then you can go you know increase the number of copies you want it you can also go to transform repeater properties play around with the position so I'm gonna set this let's say for 20, 20 pixels or maybe 25 should look good yup there we go then I'm gonna select the shape layer and hold shift and just drag this out there we go and just increase the number of copies there we go so simple now you can do crazy you know crazy stuff with this you know add some rotation you can get and what is the more cool thing you know what is the most cool thing about this is you can totally keyframe it and you can play around with the background and make some cool and crazy stuff there we go so for now I'm gonna keep it at zero so there you go we get this background first pattern we get it now let's just create the second one and it's pretty easy so for that I'm gonna let's just bring down this to let's say 10 yep and I'm gonna change the end opacity to zero. There you go. And then I'm gonna go to add one more repeater, bring down its properties, properties oh my God. <laughs> And then I'm gonna just set the copies to let's say 32 or maybe just 20 should look good. And you can go to transform repeater properties and play around with the position. So there we go let's just increase it the way you want it and yep there we are good to go there we have the second you know the second pattern you can also you know make this maybe one pixel you know make it look pretty organic okay so you can see it's pretty easy to make and it's pretty useful for creating some background so yeah now let's just hop into the third comp and create this type of pattern. Now we we are gonna use the you know the same concept but in a different way. So for that I'm gonna go to view and just go to show grid. Then I'm gonna select the pen tool, just zoom in a little, maybe right there, and just create a pattern or you know an element. You can create whatever you want actually. There we go. I'm gonna set this to two pixels. Then I'm gonna go and add a repeater to it. There we have it. Increase the copies to maybe 20. You can also, you know, offset it if you want, but we don't want it for now. So control Z to undo it. Then I'm gonna go to transform repeater properties and just increase the position so let's just go and I'll set this to let's see right there should look good okay and I'm gonna set 
put this right over there now it looks pretty big so let's just scale this down so I'll just put it right there yep and make this 3 pixels I'll just adjust it pretty quick there we go then I'm gonna add one more repeater so there we go change the position go to the transform repeater properties not the transform properties but the transform repeater properties set this to zero and just drag this out so I can go right over there you know increase the cop copies to let's say five and again bring down the end opacity now we are doing the same thing as we've done before but in a different way as you can see so in this situation I'm gonna add one more repeater there we go again set the copies to let's say it should be pretty enough set this to zero again and just bring this down there we go there we have it so easy so simple you can do it with any you know whatever you can create with this pen tool you can do this repeater thing with this and create some pretty awesome backgrounds so let's just see how I made this so for that I'm gonna again delete this and I'm gonna select the polygon tool just drag it and hold alt and shift to be precise and just make sure it's in the center so I'll just keep it in the center then I'm gonna go to, to the polystar 1 polystar path 1 and I'm gonna change the points to 6 and then just you know scale this down a little bit so for this time I'm gonna go to the transform properties oh not the transform again the transform for list of one properties now keep that in mind even I get confused sometimes to be honest you know okay looks good I'm gonna set this to 5 pixels the stroke to about 5 yeah there we go then I'm gonna add a repeater to it okay make this to maybe 20 go to a transform repeater one and just play around with the position so I'll just keep it let's say yep look good and then I'm gonna just drag this out there we go I'll just scale this down maybe a little bit more this is scale yep 30 and again then we need to position the another repeater so I'll just position it maybe around there yep looks pretty good I'm happy with the results there we go and then I'm gonna add one more repeater to it so there we go to repeater 2 increase the copies to let's say 8 for now and play around with the position again so I'm gonna you know bring this down just like this and position it you can take your time make it you know make it look more precise there we go just get something like this and you can of course you know increase the copies to let's say 30 repeated 2 where's the repeated 2 yeah there we go and increase the copies to let's say 30 and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just drag this out hold shift just drag this out there we go now you can see we get the spaces right over there so what you can do is you can just scale this up a little just touch and just drag this out there we go yep looks pretty good you can see and pretty easy to make so yep then let's just create this fourth one and the sixth one is basically the same concept as the fifth one so I'll show you how to create this so you can create this on your own you know you'll get the basic idea of what I'm saying so I'll just delete this and select the ellipse tool again hold alt and shift to be precise make sure it's in the center you know I like to keep things in the center so it looks pretty precise and I'm gonna hit ctrl D to duplicate it and bring down the ellipse 2 properties go to the ellipse 2 path and just play around with the position whatever you want so I'll keep it 
a little bit right over there. No, should look good. And I'm gonna change this. I'm gonna add a fill to it actually. So let's just add a fill pretty quick. There we go. And I don't want the stroke. So we should have something like this. I'll just adjust it a little bit more. Yep, looks pretty good. Then I'm gonna go and add a repeater to it again. And basically, we're gonna do the same thing again and again. Play around with the position again. Keep it right there. Just drag this maybe right over there. The copy so that's a 15. Should look good. And then I'm gonna add one more repeater. Go to transform properties. Make it to zero, and I'll just drag this. Up. There we go. Now you can keep it this way, the same way if you want, but I like to keep it a little bit, you know, organic. So I'll just make it a little bit, you know, give a little bit touch to it. And then I'm gonna add one more repeater. There we go. And just offset it. So I'll just make it zero, and there we go. Yep, and there we go. It looks pretty cool and pretty pre precise, you know. And again, it's totally keyframeable, you know. You can keyframe it, create some cool stuff, you know. You can do this with square or any, any, you know, any shape, you know, literally any shape you want. So yep, I hope this was helpful to you. And if you like this video, go hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next video. And thanks for watching, guys.